for most of your life, you live out your existence here in the middle of the chain of human experience, where everything is normal and reassuring and regular. But failure catapults you abruptly way out over here into the blinding darkness of disappointment. Success catapults you just as abruptly, but just as far, way out over here into the equally blinding glare of fame and recognition and praise. One of these fates is objectively seen by the world as bad, and the other one is objectively seen by the world as good. But your subconscious is completely incapable of discerning the difference between bad and good. The only thing that it is capable of feeling is the absolute value of this emotional equation, the exact distance that you have been flung from yourself. And there's a real equal danger in both cases of getting lost out there in the hinterlands of the psyche. But in both cases, it turns out that there is also the same remedy for self-restoration, and that is that you have got to find your way back home again, as swiftly and smoothly as you can. And if you're wondering what your home is, here's a hint: your home is whatever in this world you love more than you love yourself. So that might be creativity, might be family, might be invention, adventure, faith, service. Your home is that thing to which you can dedicate your energies with such singular devotion that the ultimate results become inconsequential. Look, I don't know where you rightfully live, but I know that there is something in this world that you love more than you love yourself. Something worthy, by the way. So addiction and infatuation don't count, because we all know that those are not safe places to live, right? The only trick is that you've got to identify the best, worthiest thing that you love most, and then build your house right on top of it, and don't budge from it. And if you should someday, somehow, get vaulted out of your home by either great failure or great success, then your job is to fight your way back to that home. The only way that it has ever been done. By putting your head down and performing with diligence and devotion and respect and reverence, whatever the task is that love is calling forth from you next, you just do that and keep doing that again and again and again. And I can absolutely promise you, from long personal experience in every direction, I can assure you that it's all going to be okay. Thank you.